In this video, I'm gonna be telling you about every single NPC you missed in the first sea. And I'm gonna be going from the ones that are super easy to find to the ones that you 100% missed. Starting off with the boat dealer. I'm pretty sure everybody already knows this NPC, but for the people that don't, well, he basically just lets you spawn in boats. First one is the dinghy, which is free. The second one is the sloop, which costs 300 belly. And the third one is the brigade, which costs 1000 belly. And the fourth one is the grand brigade. And the very first island you can see this guy on when you join the game is the starter island, or the marine starter island, depending on which team you pick. Next up, we got the luxury boat dealer. Most people should already know about this, but if you're newer to the game, this is how he works. You basically have to buy the faster boats game pass to use him, or else you literally just can't, he won't even let you talk to him. And the boats this guy gives you are obviously way better than the normal guy. The first one is the Guardian, which is a pretty decent ship. The second one is the Lantern, which you can buy from an NPC in the second seat. The third one is the Slave, which you only get during winter events. The next one is the Beast Hunter, and this is very good for ship raids. And this is very good for sea events. Next up, I got the Blocks Fruit Dealer. This is probably the most popular NPC in the whole of Blocks Roots, and you should definitely know about this guy. The first island you see him on is the the Pirate Star Island, but he's found on many other islands, including the Marine Star Island, Middletown, Kingdom of Rose, the Cafe, Mansion, and Port Town. And this guy, is, he works pretty simple. He's literally just a guy that sells you fruits, but he won't always have them in stock. And the stock changes every while. But there is a rule that he has to have at least three fruits in stock, because if he doesn't, then the game's just glitched out, I guess. Anyways, moving on from that, we got the Sword Dealer, and this is the very first weapons dealer in the whole game. As the name suggests, he just sells you swords. He's located at the Starter Island for the Marine and for the pirates. He basically just lets you buy two different swords, which both cost 1,000 belly. Those swords are the katana and the cutlass, and they have the exact same abilities. The only difference is that they look slightly different. That's literally it. And I'm pretty sure you can't miss this guy, and I definitely recommend buying a sword from him as soon as you start the game. But those swords are literally the worst swords in the whole game, so make sure you upgrade when you get the chance. Next up on the pirate starter island, we got the marine recruiter. And what this guy lets you do is basically switch your team into a marine. So if you're a pirate, then you can become a marine. Now we're gonna move on to the marine starter island. And at this island, you have all the NPCs that I mentioned before, except the Marine Recruiter. Here is the Pirate Recruiter. Because most people on the Marine Island are actually going to be Marines, so this lets you join the Pirates team without having to rejoin the whole game. And we also got a bonus NPC for the Marine, who's called the Marine's Boat Dealer. This is an NPC that's equivalent to the Boat Dealer, and this allows both Marines and Pirates to buy Marine Boats. But except the Marine versions of the boat are 50% cheaper, because that's one of the huge buffs of choosing that team. And this Boat Dealer only exists on two islands, the first one is obviously the Marine Starter, and the other one exists at Marine Fortress, because that's basically a Marine base. But you do have to do some searching to find these guys, because they're actually not located at the port. Moving on to the Middletown Island, the first NPC here is the Experienced Captain. And if you're new to the first sea, you don't need to worry about this guy for a while because this is how you get into the second sea. But you do have to do a long quest for that. And once you actually do unlock a way to get to the second sea, this is the guy you're going to be talking to every time you want to get back and forth from the seas. He's even located in the second sea at spawn to help you come back to the first sea. Next NPC we got located at Middletown is Robot Mega. This guy's located in a house which has a green roof over its head which you can actually walk into. And when you first talk to this guy, he might seem like a bit of an NPC, but he actually helps you achieve Darkblade V2. And the name of the quest you get from him is the Sun Quest. Moving on to the next NPC, we actually got another weapons dealer located at Middletown. And this guy's name is Weapons Dealer. And he sells you three different guns. And everyone knows guns are useless, so you mostly don't want to be talking to this guy. The very first gun he sells you is the Slingshot, which costs 5,000 belly. Next up, we got the Musket for 8,000 belly. And the third one is the Flintlock for 10,500 belly. And if you want to buy any gun from this guy, I recommend the Slingshot because it's gonna help you gather up enemies. Moving on to the jungle island, the first and only NPC that you're gonna be worried about on this island is the Blocks Fruit Gotcha. This NPC is probably one of the most useful NPCs in the whole game, and he basically just lets you roll a random fruit. But you do have to be at least level 50 to use this guy, and the amount of money it takes to roll a fruit depends on your level. If you're level 50, then you only need to pay 32,000 belly to roll a fruit, but if you're the max level, which is 2,550, you have to pay 400,000 belly to roll a fruit, which makes this incredibly expensive if you're a higher level. And this guy's not only located in the first sea, he's also located at the second sea and the third sea. And a pretty cool thing about this NPC is that, that it wasn't actually meant to stay in the game. It was added during a winter update, but the community loved it so much that they decided to keep it in the game. Moving on to the next NPC, he's located at the Pirate Village, and this is the Sword Dealer of the West. He sells you two different guns, which are the Dual Katana, which costs 12,000 belly, which is literally just two katanas. And the next one is the Iron Maze, which costs 25,000 belly. Next NPC on this island, and this is actually the first fighting style that you can buy in the whole game. And he's basically located around this area right here. He sells you the fighting style for 150,000 belly. And the cool thing about this fighting style is that you actually kick instead of use your hand. 
Moving on to the next NPC we got here is the blacksmith. And this guy basically just helps you upgrade your weapons to grade 2. And this is something you definitely have to do before you're able to enchant your weapons. So this is a very crucial NPC and I don't actually see a lot of people talking about this guy. And the next NPC who's located on this island is the rich man. And this is actually a guy that's going to help you complete the saber expert puzzle. Which is actually a pretty annoying puzzle to do if you don't know what you're doing. But you don't need to worry about that now. It's the only thing this basically helps you with is getting the saber sword and instinct. Which are two crucial abilities in the game. But you do need a level requirement before you can get them. Uh, moving on to the desert island, we got our first very hidden NPC. And this guy's incredibly difficult to find if you don't know where to look. His name is Hassan and he sells you the swordsman hat for 150,000 belly. And to talk to this guy, you actually need to have flash step aura and air jump, and at least 300 stat points on your sword, or else he will not sell this to you. Basically, you just have to collect the chest that's located right here, and then go down this long tunnel, and boom, that's exactly where he is. See, I told you he would be hard to find. Moving on to the next NPC, we got the abilities teacher, and this is one of the most important NPC in the whole of block suits. And he's actually modeled after Rayleigh from One Piece. And the most important ability that this guy sells you is the aura ability, which is basically called hockey by the community because that's what it's called in one piece this ability costs a total of 25,000 belly and it basically just gives you a shield of armor and it's incredibly important if you want to be able to hit people that have elemental fruits and he also sells you air jumps which basically just lets you jump more in one place and it's an incredibly useful ability next we got the flash step ability which is taken from bleach and this basically just lets you teleport short distances and in my opinion the most important abilities from this guy is the air jump ability because it lets you get to places that you couldn't before and then obviously the hockey you can't forget about it. And next up, we got an NPC who's located at that very same island. And this is also a weapons dealer NPC. And he's called Sword Dealer of the East. And just like his name suggests, he sells you two different swords. The first one is the Triple Katana for 60,000 belly. And it's exactly what it sounds like. It's just three different katanas. Next up, we got the Pipe, which costs 100,000 belly. And since it costs more than the Triple Katana, you already know it's better. And if you're wondering where he's located, it's basically right next to this house right here. Next NPC we got on this list is Porus. And he sells you the black cape accessory for 50,000 belly. But you do have to be at least level 50 to purchase it. And it's a pretty decent accessory for the first C. And if you're wondering where this guy is located, he's actually very, very hidden. Just like the Hassan NPC from before. You have to head over to Marine Fortress, get over to this tower, and go down this ladder. Pretty interesting place to hide. Next up, we got the Advanced Weapons Dealer, who's also located at Marine Fortress. And this guy sells you a total of three guns, which are just better versions of the ones you find in Middletown. First up, we got the Refined Slingshot, which costs a total of 30,000 belly. And next up, we got the Refined Flintlock, which costs 65,000 belly and finally we got the cannon which costs a hundred thousand belly and since it costs the most you already know it's the most powerful gun here moving on to skylands the very first npc that's hidden here is the mad scientist i guarantee you did not find him when you were playing the game normally that's because he's not actually located at skylands he's located at this rock near it if you come and talk to this guy he's gonna sell you the electric fighting style for five hundred thousand belly and i definitely recommend getting your hands on this because you can upgrade it to electric claw later which is one of the best fighting styles in the whole game Next up, we got the Yoshi NPC, who's also located at Skylands, and this guy's also pretty difficult to find, because he's located at this tower over here. And when most people get to Skylands, they actually they don't even have Sky Jump, so they wouldn't even know to check this place. And this guy sells you the Tomoe Ring accessory that gives you 10% more blocks for damage. And the requirements for this is at least 200 stat points on your melee. And this accessory costs a total of 500,000 belly. And do I recommend this? Um, not really. There's better things to spend your money on. Maybe save up for a fruit you want. Next up, we got the Master Swords Dealer, who's located at the top of Skylands. And this guy sells you two different swords. The first one is the Dual Headed Blade, which costs 400,000 belly. And the second one is the Bicento, which costs 1 million belly. Pretty pricey. And you can actually upgrade your Bicento by killing the Greybeard boss with the Bicento. And I also advise you guys not to buy the Dual Headed Blade because it is terrible for grinding and PvP. Anyways, moving on, we got another very hidden NPC, but this guy is incredibly useless in my opinion. This guy is the Remove Blocks Food NPC, and he can be found at the back of the prison on the first C. And when you talk to him, he's literally just gonna give you two options, sure and shut up. And if you click on sure, he's gonna give you the option to remove the blocks food that you actually have equipped in. Which is a pretty weird thing to do if you ask me. But if you really want to have the ability to swim over having a blocks food, then you do you. It costs a total of 50,000 belly, and that's another reason I don't recommend doing this. Because you're losing money and a fruit. Who would want to do that? And while you're at the prison, you're actually gonna notice this other NPC who's called a military detective. And you don't really need to worry about this guy right now because he's an NPC that gives you a quest to get into the second C. Once you're at least level 700, which is basically finishing the first C, you come talk to this guy and he tells you to do a bunch of stuff to get into the second C. But if you're a fairly new player or visiting the prison for the first time, then you don't really need to worry about this guy. Next NPC that's incredibly hidden is the Living Skeleton NPC. You literally will not be able to find this guy without help. He's located at the Magma Village and you actually are going to notice no matter where you search, you're not going to find him. 
That's because he's actually located behind an invisible wall, which you can literally just walk directly through. And once you do that and talk to him, he's gonna sell you the Soul Cane sword that costs a total of 750,000 bellies. And this is the same sword that Brook from One Piece uses. It's pretty cool. And the sword itself isn't even that bad. Moving on, we got another secret NPC that you definitely did not find. And it's the same reason for the previous one. This is the Water Kung Fu teacher, and he's located at Underwater City. If you head right down here, you're gonna notice you're not gonna find him at all. But you have to go through this wall right here. And boom. Once you talk to him, he's gonna sell you Water Kung Fu for a total of 750,000 belly. And I definitely recommend getting your hands on this, because it's literally the best fighting style in the whole of the first year, and one of the best fighting styles to grind with regardless. Moving on to the next NPC that you definitely missed is the Instinct Teacher. This guy's located at Upper Skylands, and he basically just teaches you instincts slash observation hockey, which is literally one of the most important abilities in the whole game. It costs a total of 750,000 belly to buy from this guy, but you do have to complete the Saber Expert quest from him. And don't wait till you get to Skylands to talk to this guy. You can literally access him at level 300 by doing the quest first. You can literally talk to him early by doing the Saber Expert quest at literally just level 300. So make sure you get your hands on this before you leave the first scene. And that's it for the NPCs. 